Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel today. So I'm Ryan and this is Living with XXY. Awareness, education, and support all for Kleinfelder Syndrome. Um, today's Thursday and Thursdays for me are all about testosterone. Now, I use testosterone cipronate. Um, I use this big vial. I try to get this big vial because I want, um, when I travel, I don't want to have to deal with the constant headache of transferring my prescription to wherever I am. Um, but now that we're stay at home, um, this vial will last me quite some time. Um, so testosterone replacement therapy, what is it and why do a lot of guys with Kleinfelder syndrome choose to use it? Um, this is my personal opinion and this is kind of what I've experienced through world travel and meeting and talking to thousands of people with Kleinfelder syndrome. Um, a lot of guys choose to use testosterone replacement therapy. They, they say that it helps them with um, energy, uh, motivation, sex drive, um, what else? Um, that cloudy feeling goes away, um, holding themselves accountable, they just feel good, um, able to build muscle, um, it really helps with anxiety and depression. Um, these are just things that a lot of people out there have said, uh, told me personally, have posted uh, to our nonprofit organization, and um, a lot of people have just had some really big successes. Um, there are people out there that have Kleinfelder syndrome that uh, also use estrogen blockers. Um, others choose not to use testosterone at all. I actually have a couple of really good friends that um, don't use testosterone and their body makes just enough to where they feel um, like they don't need testosterone replacement therapy. So this, is, this video is all about kind of just my life, my experiences with testosterone, and I'm not telling you what you should and shouldn't be doing. Um, if you have any questions about testosterone, make sure you consult with your doctor or a physician that understands and knows. Um, there are multiple different ways of doing testosterone. I've done the injection most of my life, um, and that's something that um, has just worked for me. It might not work for you, but that's something that I think that if you educate yourself on the different types of testosterone, um, if you go to the old website, which is livingwithxxy.com, there's a whole section on all the different types of testosterone up to date with what's out there, what's available. Um, all right, so it's Thursday. Let's do my shot. All right, so this is kind of my travel kit. Um, I use a 23 gauge one inch needle to inject. Um, I use a, what is this, an 18. So the pink, you never, ever, ever want to inject with a 18 gauge needle. It will cause you the most pain in the world. Um, so I'm not a doctor, but I know from personal experience, this is something that you only draw with. You want to stay away from completely. Um, it's a little windy. So those are my needles. This is my testosterone. Um, some people warm it up so it's a little um, more viscous. It's a little not as thick so it goes in easily. I have two gauze strips, a band-aid, and two alcohol strips. Um, this is also what I carry my needles in when I travel. And I have an auto injector which I left in my bathroom so I'm going to go grab it really quickly. All right. So this is an auto injector. This is not a sponsorship or paid um, solicitation by them. This is something that I found through research online a couple of years ago. Um, basically what this is, is it's, it holds the needle and it does your auto injector. Um, and it just locked on me, which sometimes it does this. There we go. Okay. So how this thing works, um, if you want one of these, it, it's a 90 degree injector. And if you want one of these, go to unionmedico.com. I'll put the link in the description. And um, if you use the promo code capital L, uh, living with XXY, you'll get 10% off. Um, I just really wanted to help people be, have access to getting one of these. The company is based out of uh, Denmark or Copenh Copenhagen. Um, and so international shipping with DHL can be quite expensive. 
All right, so this is my process. Um, it's a little windy, so let's try to do it outside. All right, so one alcohol, one alcohol swab. Hopefully those don't blow away. One alcohol swab cleans the top of the bottle. And then um, sometimes if this alcohol swab still has a lot on it, I'll also clean my leg with it, but we'll be extra sterile today just because I'm outside. All right, so I clean my injection area, which is my left thigh. There's some bruising from a couple of weeks ago. One of the things with doing the testosterone injection, if you're younger and you're just starting this and, and you're afraid to, you're afraid of needles or you're afraid of what you know the uncertainty is, um, this is going to help you. It's going to make you feel better. And being afraid of needles is something that you just get over as time goes on. All right, so I have air in my um, syringe, and I don't know if the camera will focus, but that's an 18 gauge needle. That thing is massive. All right, so what I do is I poke the bottle, I push the air, and I pull the testosterone into the syringe. And since I had to warm it up because it was crystallizing, it's actually coming into the syringe a lot more and a, a lot faster. All right, so that's that. And then I will recap and I'll pull a little bit of the testosterone out of the needle. All right, so that's that. And then here is my one inch needle and that's on and tight. I'll clean that up later. And then the Union Medico, I cock it back and I just pop it in just like that. All right, and then there's an air bubble in there, so I need to get the air. I need to remove that air bubble. Um, this is kind of difficult in in the uh, in the wind, but um, all right. So I'm going to push the testosterone into the needle, into the tip. Make sure that there's no no air bubbles in my um, in my syringe, and then I will pull this back. Well, I'm having like the hardest time right now. It just does not want to work. Okay, there we go. So it's locked, it's back, it's ready to go. My leg is clean, ready to go. And then I will open my gauze, my sterile gauze, and I'll, just in case there's blood. Um, the injection sometimes, sometimes it hurts. Most of the time it doesn't. Um, it just depends on how relaxed your leg is and how mental you are. One of the mental things with doing this testosterone injection is the more you think about it, the longer it takes to do. And the longer it takes to do, the, you'll go the whole day with um, having, your, having your testosterone drawn up in your vial and thinking about it mentally when this, that, and you're just like, constantly um constantly like thinking about when and how and all that stuff um all right so my leg is relaxed and this is for everybody out there this is for all of you um last time i had a little bit of a bleeder so but so we'll just do this See, even doing this on video is like, didn't even hurt. over it, rub it, all right, there's no blood, so, and then it locks back like that, 
put that over here, and then what I do is I just take my Band-Aid. Um, some guys use Band-Aids, some guys don't, and I just put it over the injection site. And then what I'll do is I'll continue to rub it, um, pushing that testosterone, moving it around. But that injection didn't hurt at all. I didn't even feel the needle go in. Um, so yeah, that's my tutorial, my educational piece on how to do your testosterone shot, how I do my testosterone shot. Um, I know that there's going to be a lot of people saying you should have done this way or you should do it that way, or um, you might want to aspirate, which is pulling the needle back. Um, but that's just the way I've been doing it for all my life. And yeah, that's that. So I hope this helps everybody out there. Um, I'm just trying to help make a difference and spread awareness. So we'll talk to you all soon. Have a great day.